Today is our last day in the Galapagos. We're heading off early tomorrow morning. Got a couple of final things that we need to buy. Tried to go to the fruit and veggie markets today and they were having a strike, so fingers crossed they'll be open tomorrow so we can buy some fresh produce before we go. But other than that, we are checked out, ready to go. I'm very excited to begin the Pacific crossing. Hey, Maxi. Hello. <laughs> are you feeling ready for your Pacific crossing? First ever. Feeling feeling a bit explosive at the moment actually, <laughs> thanks to a bug that's been spreading around the other cruisers. Point to the boat that gave it to us just behind. Yeah. <laughs> this one. And then I got it off him, yeah. this guy here, El Capitan. Listen, uh... But yes, yeah, so I'm feeling a little bit, uh, bit affected by that, but I'm um, excited to hit the seas and say goodbye to Galapagos, it's been beautiful. Looking forward to... Chilling out, reading, writing a novel with Max, learning to play the guitar. This might be my, product, my most productive passage yet. Welcome to the departure and beginning of the crossing of the Pacific Ocean from Galapagos to the Marquesas, or however you say that. Can you start it again? Ooh, yeah. This just starts where it starts. I can't start it again. You could, um, you could take it above the wood and then put it down on the wood. You can cut bits out by putting it on your leg or something. That was nice. Chris, anything to report for day two? Well, we saw dolphins, lots of dolphins. Um, hundreds of dolphins. I reckon tiny ones about this big. Uh, they didn't come anywhere near the boat, which is disappointing. And it's a, what, what is the lyric? It's a wonderful world. Today is day three and it's also my birthday. Very exciting. We've had a bit of a bumpy night. The, um, the weather was a bit stormy last night. had lots of rain and the swell's been pretty choppy, so it's been pretty uncomfortable five people around the boat. The forecast looks like we've got maybe half a day to go till we get into the southeast trade winds which should be a lot more consistent so really just hoping to try and sail a bit further till we get there. We're all getting settled into life on the boat for the next few weeks and really trying to get into the sailing routine. How are you going bud? I'm short sighted. I'm reading. Where's my book? <laughs> Do you have anything to say on day three? Day three. Um, it's Alyssa's birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Saw whales. Good rain. We got some wind. It's Alyssa's birthday. Did I say that right? We had pancakes mm. for Alyssa's birthday. Chef Stetner is going to return to the kitchen for another glorious meal. <laughs> Looking forward to it. <laughs> That's true. What are you cooking tonight for yeah, us? Oh. What specialties have we got? We've got beans that need to be eaten. <laughs> it's going to be the basis of the meal. <laughs> it's the first catch of the trip. As yet. Unknown. We Unknown. Cut the head off, unfortunately. There's the head. Just leave it there. Hold it here. A bit higher. We caught a wahoo this morning. A big wahoo, our first one. We've been eating wahoo all day. Mm. And tonight we're having wahoo three ways. Max has been busy. Mm -hmm. Being the mastermind chef behind this operation. Yeah. This is wahoo capaccio or sashimi. Slightly thinnerly cut than normal sashimi. Some nigiri. Wahoo nigiri. Which is rice, mayonnaise and a bit more wahoo. The hot dish is a uh, miso 
Wahoo miso. Miso soup with um, no dessert. Not a very attractive hat, 10,000 nautical miles. It's only taken us a year, just under a year. These are the, these are the conditions. <laughs> hey, Wompy. We just clocked over 10,000 nautical miles. That's exciting. You're working hard, aren't you? Yeah. Aww. There's a new game going on called, what's oh, it called? Point footy. Point, point footy. footy. <laughs> We've already lost 50 cents to the sea gods. Yeah, it's currently at 2,500 metres and still sinking in the ocean. Oh! oh! So what, we didn't decide. What we didn't decide. Let's call it 10 points. Are you guys if, making up if as you go along? if you convert it, you get 20. Whoa! Okay, ready? Yeah. Just made that up. No, you happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with it. Oh. Okay. Can you, can you convert? Ah! You still get the. Oh, maybe you don't get anything. No, you, <laughs> get the, you get the 10. That's them going out the big guns. Who's got the top word score? Who does? What was the word? Doesn't. Doesn't. Very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> We're a week into our Pacific crossing. I've travelled around a thousand nautical miles and have around two weeks left to go. The crossing's been going pretty well. We've had consistent trade winds since about the third or fourth day of the passage, which has given us about 15 to 25 knots. So we've been travelling quite fast. Unfortunately, we've had a bit of a sea state that's gone with it that we weren't expecting. We've been having a uh, wave side on for the past really three or four days, which has been a little uncomfortable. It's quite rocky on the boat, but we're slowly getting used to it. We've had a lot of squalls as well, which has brought rain and strong winds, which has been great for our water capture system, but not so good for the solar. So we're struggling a little bit on the battery side and having to run our engines a couple of hours a day, which is a little bit frustrating. We have our first major challenge to solve with the trip. A nice big crack in this davit here. No one need to have to work out to get a 45 kilogram engine off the dinghy while we're bobbing along in, I don't know, two minutes as well. Anyway, stage one is done. The engine weighs 45 kilos, which would be ordinarily enough for Max and I to lift, but the angles are a bit challenging, so we've attached a bridle to the topping lift uh, to help us out a little bit for active for safety in case one of the slips or falls in. We're going to get it up onto this board and then stick it somewhere, either here or under there. Um, yeah, it's a shame you can't film the whole thing. Uh, it worked really well. The topping lift took all the, all the load. I doubt we would have been able to lift that. Day 
nine. Uh, we just had our second book club, and we're reading this novel called Kentiki, which is defined as a search of a mythical hero journey from Peru to Polynesia. Uh, it's a nautical adventure book, um, a true story of, uh, of a journey across the same seas that we're crossing now. We actually went past one of the logged uh, locations uh, a few days ago, and um, yeah, it's a little thing to pass the time. day 10 on our uh, crossing to the Marquesas. The Pacific Ocean has turned out to be quite a furious beast. Uh, we've got winds of 35 knots. We're double reefed both in the Genoa and the main and we're still doing eight and a half knots of speed over ground. Amazingly though, our crack David behind me is doing well. We supported it quite well and uh, the dinghy's still there which is great. The solar panels are still working which is good. Uh, we just need to make it through this pretty rough patch and uh, yeah, hopefully nothing else breaks. day 12 and we've just reached halfway across the Pacific Ocean. Very exciting, we've got just under 1500 nautical miles left to go, which should be around nine days. Max. Hey. What would you like to say about halfway day? I'm not ready. You're not ready for halfway? You, <laughs> you'd like to sail for a bit longer? Yeah, bring it on for longer. Okay. I'm interviewing people, i.e. you and Max, to see how you feel about the fact that we're halfway and Max is having so much fun he says he'd like more time at sea but how about you? We're truly in the middle of nowhere now so for me I sort of see this as a real danger period where if something goes wrong with the boat where I know we're sort of stuck out here by ourselves. The crew's holding together well, no major tensions which is good. Uh, a lot of positives but still somewhat anxious. Can you watch our good glasses? Por favor. Cheers. Welcome to day 15. Um, it's been a long journey. It is a vast, vast ocean. We have not seen any other man-made object apart from a couple of plastic bottles uh, for 15 full days and today I'm sure you probably can't see it with the camera but we have our first ship crossing it's a big tanker and we've got the almost full moon coming up over here as well day 15 the world hasn't ended Okay, it's day... What day is it, anyone? Who knows? 15, 15 16? 15, 16. We're about to go for a swim in the ocean. It's 4,000 metres deep. 
Gotta get in quick because my battery's going down. Holy shit, ball. We're moving. Wow. That's amazing. What's amazing is how dirty our back step is. Look at that. Big step. Hey guys. Hi. How's your afternoon shower going? Fabulous. On the back Except deck. Except Chris, he got Yeah, he got so stuck. Whoa. Dangerous. Chris did not have a good spa experience. No. <laughs> it's day 18 on our crossing to the Marquesas. We're around 650 nautical miles away from the uh, land pool, which should take around five days. The seas have calmed considerably in the last four to five days, so it's been pretty smooth. The winds have been less, which means we've been going a little slower, unfortunately. We're all super keen to get there. We've been doing a few activities to keep us uh, from getting too bored on the boats. We've got daily games hour and also book club every second day, but we are really keen to get to landfall and check out what the Marquesas has to offer. Good morning, it's day 20 of our crossing to the Pacific. Um, I can't believe I haven't done one of these on this crossing so far. Uh, with only two days to go, roughly 280 nautical miles, it's uh, it's almost done. So, what's the saying? Better late than never. It's been a good crossing. We've had a variety of conditions, which no doubt will be on the, the clip somewhere. But it's just a good feeling to know that we are almost there. Uh, we all still love each other dearly on, on the crew, that is, and the boat. Um, just, despite the cracked davit, the boat has held up pretty well. Uh, yeah, and I guess we just sort of now wait for a sense of accomplishment to sink in um, and be proud of our achievement to do something not very many people do and, uh, and then celebrate. Just hanging out on the back deck waiting for a fish to jump up here all nicely filleted and I'll just stick it straight in the freezer mm. Put the board ready to go? Yeah, it's invisible fish you might, you might be able to see it if you... Its name's Delilah Its name's Delilah I actually think it's a male Called Delilah, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's an okay. <laughs> How are you feeling about this second fish? Mm. Yeah. You look excited. Mm -hmm. Special. We haven't had a sunset like this the whole trip. Are you excited about land tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. I think I'll be able to handle it. Good morning, it's day 23 on the water and we, uh, we've just made landfall. Beautiful sunrise. Max is just heading off to bed. Mm. But we've hit land. Come over here. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but... 
Here's the figure. I oh, know, you can see it. After 22, I guess, okay days at sea, a couple of rough ones, finally made it to the Marquesas. Uh, I think this island over here is Oaxaca. I'm not sure, it's going to take us a while to get our heads around the various names, but we've made it. You meant to say Land Ho. I guess we've, I just said it, Land Ho. Pretty proud of Alyssa and Max and me, I guess, as well. Looking forward to some bubbles later today.